understanding opioid-induced constipation. Opioid-induced constipation, or OIC, is a condition that affects how your digestive system works. Opioids are strong pain medicines that slow bowel movements, causing fewer bowel movements or more difficulty having a bowel movement than normal. Hence the term opioid-induced constipation. Your physician might prescribe opioids if you have a condition that causes moderate to severe pain. While opioids can treat pain effectively, they also cause side effects. Between 50 and 80% of people who take opioid medicines may have constipation. Opioid-induced constipation is the most common side effect that opioids have on your digestive system. However, there are others. Opioid-induced bowel dysfunction, or OIBD, is the medical term for all the digestive system effects that opioids can cause. Besides constipation, OIBD can include heartburn, nausea, vomiting, a bloated feeling, as well as chronic or long-lasting abdominal pain. Anyone who takes opioid medicines can develop opioid-induced constipation. Physicians may prescribe opioids for pain from a procedure such as surgery or dental work, an injury or accident, a chronic or long-lasting condition that causes pain, cancer, or illness at the end of life. Taking opioid medicines is the main risk factor for opioid-induced constipation. You can lower your risk of OIC, relieve symptoms, or both, by talking with your physician and pharmacist before you start taking opioid medicines. The main symptom of OIC is a change in your usual bowel movement habits after you start taking opioid medicines. Changes may include less frequent bowel movements, difficulty having bowel movements, feeling like you cannot empty everything completely, and very firm or hard bowel movements. Besides constipation, opioid medicines can cause other side effects. For example, you may have side effects related to your nervous system. These can include nausea and vomiting, slow breathing, feeling very sleepy, and feeling either high or depressed. You might also have worsening abdominal pain. Your body has areas called receptors in the digestive system. When you take opioid medicines, they activate these receptors. This changes the way your digestive system works. Opioid medicines slow down the normal movement of food and waste through your system. Reduce the moisture in your digestive system that makes it easier to have bowel movements. And tighten up the muscles that need to relax when you have a bowel movement. If you have certain symptoms, your physician will check for other conditions besides OIC. These symptoms can include unexplained weight loss, frequent fevers, blood in your bowel movements, a low red blood cell count called anemia, and a history of colon cancer in your family. Opioid-induced constipation can be so unpleasant that you stop taking your opioid medicines. But if they are the best for controlling your pain, you might not get the pain relief you need if you stop taking them. In rare cases, OIC can cause serious health problems, including pain in the rectum, where bowel movements leave the body. It can also cause a blocked or torn bowel. This is serious and can be life-threatening. If constipation becomes severe, your physician may prescribe medications such as pills, enemas, or suppositories to relieve it. Having OIC can lead to other health problems, especially in older adults. Problems may include heart attacks and many strokes from struggling to have a bowel movement, depression and other mood problems from discomfort, and other digestive system problems from nausea to a tear in the digestive system caused by a blockage. If your physician prescribes opioid medicines, ask how likely your specific medicine is to cause constipation. It is best to prevent OIC if possible. Talking with your physician before you start taking opioids is the best way to do this.